What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm to Rules, baby. Hashtag Farm Dump Dump. Today is the 21st day of the Farming Simulator Advent Calendar Giveaway. Black Shoe Modding tease a new customization feature for their Gator 6x4. Connect Modding show off everything that they're working on right now. Ada Modding and Ben and Mod show off new slurry spreader. Peter J has a front loader for the Massey 135. Corn Hub have results for their Mod of the Year award. FDR Logging are doing something really cool. Puma 145 is working on the last update to Goldcrest Valley. MJ Modding shows off some new screenshots from Tom Pemberton's farm. TNT Modding went live yesterday and there's tons to talk about. Plus, Lancy Boy updates us on Oak Hill and his Ohio map. Let's check it out. Today is the 21st day of the Farming Simulator Advent Calendar Giveaway, and today they've got two things for you. They have a Farming Simulator FS Baseball Hat. They've also got the Farming Simulator 19 Alpine Farming Expansion DLC Key. This will be for PC, PlayStation, Xbox, Stadia, or Mac. There are eight ways to enter today. What you want to do is put in what platform you're playing on, and then join the Farming Simulator Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, visit their homepage, and follow Giant Software on Twitch, whether it be the English or German. Black Sheep Mining have released a new picture of their Gator 6x4, and most people would look at this and say, yeah, that looks pretty good. Hey, looks great. Well, there's a few things that we see here that are different from what we've seen before. Most notably, you've got a big shiny light bar at the very top. Not only that, but it looks to have some type of bar on the back side. So you, right here, we've got the logging back attached to it. It's got something on the top. This may be part of it, and we could be looking, overlooking this maybe way too much. But regardless, you've got a nice big shiny light bar on the top. I know a lot of you guys were asking about this. Connect Mining have posted a list of projects saying that the teams in their group have now totaled a milestone of 30 mods currently in progress at this very moment. They believe it's going to be something that's going to make Mod Up very, very happy come January. Oh yeah. They also say that remember that the Jatco DLC is a variety of equipment. This will not be a purchasable DLC or anything like that. Just be released as a normal mod or normal mod pack, something like that. So do keep that in mind. You've got everybody from Connect Modding, JA Modding, Farm Central Soul, Agritono, Contico, Migo Modding, Cola, CM Modding, all kinds of guys in here. Lots of names that I'm sure you are familiar with. On this list, we've got tons of stuff that you guys have been wanting to see. We've got some maps. We've got the Jatco DLC. We've got some John Deere Planter Seed Ears. We've got the Kloss Challenger. We've got the Cat Challenger Star stuff. We've got some John Deere equipment again, case equipment all kinds of stuff even new holland volvos ford ford's gonna be a lizard brand we've already talked about that ben durante all kinds of stuff what are you excited about on this after the announcement of the new mod ada mining shows off some new screenshots of their Corinia or serenia slurry spreader they say it's almost final it's in its final stages right now the only thing left to do is spec maps and testing yesterday peter j modding teased a front loader and as you probably could have guessed this is going to be for the massey ferguson 135. This is the systematic front loader. Very cool. Last week we talked about the Corn Hub Mod of the Year contest for 2020, and today we have our winner. Congratulations to the Maze Plus Mod by Farming Agency. Very, very great to see you guys. That is awesome. Congratulations. For those logging fans out there, we got something exciting for you. FDR Logging have said that they have long enjoyed the creation of cutting the videos and editing audio and things like that and creating stories and films for YouTube. After the past month of deciding to get a little bit more filmy, as it were, and starting to write scripts for an upcoming fun series called Go Team Timber. This will be all filmed using Farming Simulator in-game characters and random mods and create the scenes. They will have a team of voice actors and video actors to perform all of the roles of the characters and acting out some of the very odd and wacky scenes that will take place in the first season. The stories are going to be quite adventurous, leading into the realm of fantasy mixed with reality, of course, in the game. I think uh, they think this is going to be a super fun and fresh bunch of content for fans and YouTube followers. Hey, I'm one of them. The project will not be releasing episodes until probably for a few more months, so don't look for this right now or maybe in the next few weeks, but in the coming months, they cannot wait see what the world thinks. Hey, shout out to FDR. If you guys need a uh, voice actor, hit me up. Puma145 announces the very last update for their map, Goldcrest Valley for Farming Simulator 19. 
They say they've completely changed the base map and they fixed the problems with the terrain. They've also fixed a lot of the visual bugs that were incorrect and those have been corrected. They're looking for other errors that appear on the map as well. They say if you've got any that you know of, let them know. I will have a link in the description beside Puma145. MJ Monning posted some new screenshots around Tom Pemberton's farm. He says some pics around the map that he's got done so far. Of course, you can see things around the f main farm and around town as well. Going into the main farmyard, of course, there's lots of cattle on this farm. Huge detail, tons of custom buildings made specifically for this map. MJ Modding and their team have done an amazing job. Yesterday, TNT Modding, the creator of Bucks County PA, went live on Facebook and showed off tons of stuff, things that I didn't even know. And I talked to this guy a lot. Uh, so what that does, they've shown off some new maps. They've talked about some mods that they could be creating for all platforms to go with these maps and things like that. If you enjoy the interestingly modded side of Farming Simulator, especially if you're a console player, definitely check it out. It's about an hour and 20 minutes long, so there is a quite a lengthy live stream there, but it's totally worth it, I promise. And lastly today, Lancy Boy updates us on Oak Hill, which we haven't talked about in a while. We showed this map off a few months ago, but we haven't seen anything since. He said he stayed silent on this project. He had another review of the project and wasn't happy with some of the models or the layout, so he's made them again and he's gained some more experience in doing so and tried some new things with the map and he brought that experience into Oak Hill. He's removed some of the models that he wasn't happy with, redesigned the main cow yard. He's also going to redesign the Ohio models as well. He knows this is going to set him back on that map three weeks or so, but by doing this, it's going to make the model and the map much, much better. Thus, in turn, making it a whole lot more fun for us as players to play. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you do, and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Alright, I'm going on my ski trip tomorrow morning, so there will be no farm sim news tomorrow, but got something really cool for you.